What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you Topaz Adjust. Um, it's a plugin for Photoshop which allows you to make your images look more like a HDR image. Now a HDR image stands for High Dynamic Range and what it does is normally it captures several different exposures, puts them all together so you get a final image which includes more uh, shadows and highlights so the light is better represented in the photo. And uh, this plugin just gives your photo so much better depth and they just look a lot lot better so um, once you've installed Topaz, now I'll link it in the description so uh, you can either get a trial or buy it it's only actually $49 which actually is very cheap for a plugin um, I was really impressed when I saw the price so I actually did get it um, and it does make such a difference to your photos since using it I'm never turning back just to like standard image uh, adjustments and stuff. So anyway, let's go to Filter, Topaz Labs, and Topaz Adjust. Now it opens in a separate window, and you get a preview like straight away. Um, you've got all these different kind of like presets, and as you can see at the top left, you, uh, the little preview image changes as you go through each one. So the one I normally use for uh, landscapes or architecture or anything like that is Spicify, and. Uh, as you can see it really brings out the highlights and shadows and makes everything look a lot more vibrant what I like about this plugin as well is you get this all down the side so you can actually customize all the different exposure details and color which I think is great to have now if your image ends up a bit noisy you can just zoom in and once you've zoomed into about 50 percent you can reduce the noise which actually works quite well although I've not had a photo yet which needs any of that uh, and as you can see, so you can change the strength of like the sharpness, and uh, you can turn that down, obviously, to have you like. You've got boost here, which makes it more kind of. Uh, it's almost like bump on Cinema 4D, you know, that kind of like really like 3D look. It's like an illusion because obviously it's not any more 3D than it was before. Um, you've got your thresholds here, so you can change. The threshold of the image, which I think is quite nice to have as well. Um, you got your radius, and the actual radius normally doesn't really do that much, to be quite honest, when you change it. Um, you've got your colour here as well. Now, when you do use these presets, normally you get an adaptive saturation, uh, saturation, which uh, kind of mm, just uh, adds extra colours, which normally you wouldn't see yourself, but if it's there in the image it'll kind of enhance it and if you don't want that then you can just obviously reduce it as much as you like and as you can see then obviously it gets a bit more bleak and that's how it works so that looks really good um, you've obviously got your saturation, saturation boosts uh, so you can obviously make it black and white if you like and what I do like about this as well is that you can change the shadows and highlights and all this is customizable, so you can make it as bright as you want, dark as you like. However, uh, sometimes you do you just need to play about with it because sometimes you will get some quite nasty results if you don't like adjust everything correctly. But it this software just re well this plugin just makes your photos really like stand out, and it's something I could definitely recommend to all of you out there who um, are into photography. And actually, it's even good just for anything really. Uh, and then obviously you've got all these as well, so you've got your small details, and they all they all do different things, like some make your image sharper than others, uh, and stuff like that. So, and there's a few presets down here, which I can't see actually ever using, but uh, that's just how it is. So you've got your dark charcoal. Um, this actually looks good on portraits. So if you actually change the strength or turn it down. Uh, and then increase the brightness. You get like a really nice portrait shot, which uh, can look really nice. But it's just up to you what you do, really. Uh, but I'm sure you can tell how much more this improves your photo. And I mean, look, you can compare it to the original. It's just outstanding. The difference really makes your photos look a lot more professional. And considering that was just like a, a uh, it's like a snap I took when I was in London. You can just make it look so much better. With this plugin, um, you cannot achieve results like this without a plugin like this. Uh, Photoshop just won't be able, you just couldn't create it, you just no way. Um, a lot of cameras have HDR done for you, so 
but if you don't have it like I don't, then this plugin is great for you. There's also other HDR plugins like Photo, I think it's Photo, is it Photomatics? I think so, I'm not sure. But my friend uses that and he's also got some really good uh, positive results. So you can check that out as well if you like. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this tutorial because I know that a lot of you like photography and it, this is just almost vital in my opinion. Uh, check out the reel of HDR original uh, comparisons. There's a link in the description. You probably got to this tutorial while watching it, but um, if you haven't seen it already, check that out. Uh, that's about it, really. I'm probably going to do some more photography things and uh, videos, filmmaking tips and stuff. So, see you guys later. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, it helps a lot. So, And also, subscribe if you haven't already. See you later.